Thank you very much. Uh, I'm the last one on uh, on this opening session. Um, I'm not I'm not sure I'll be the Acharon uh, Acharon Chaviv last, uh, but not least. But uh, there I go. Um, um, as you can see, uh, I belong to media studies and to the realm of social constructions of uh, of reality through shared symbols, and state legitimacy is reflected as a symbolic permit to act, interact, and to govern in the political arena. And so I would like to uh, share with you some of my conclusion on the topic based on my academic experience as a communication scholar, my professional uh, experience in the fields of journalism and public affairs, and if I may to add my uh, personal experience, I lived in Madrid, Spain in, in the last three years, uh, and if you see, you, it's, as you can imagine, one of the most critical environments toward Israel, especially during uh, Operation Kastled and uh, the events on the Mamara. Um, my basic argument is encapsulated here on the, on the first slide, and I would say it up front as a word Zionist. There, and the, this argument uh, is, um, is that there are no serious attacks on, on or assaults on Israeli legitimacy. On the contrary, as we all remember Obama's speech before APAC, you can see it uh, here. Okay, um, the dominant countries of the world united behind Israel. They may criticize it from time to time, and they, uh, this criticism, as said before, uh, can be a fierce one. But there is no danger to Israeli legitimacy, as we cannot indicate even one serious institu institutionalized boycott in Israel, just a series of failed attempts by a uh, uh, small organization. Even though, and this we must bear in mind, that Israel is, in the eyes of the world, is an occupying state. So in a sense, this is more interesting or uh, frustrating if you think about it as a Palestinians. After 45 years, 45 years, my friends, the, that the world see our, as occupying or uh, see Israel as colonialism, there is not any significant boycott, even on products on on, uh, from the territories. Surely there are attempts, and some progressive intellectual call for BDS, but uh, they are all end up in a very weak, sub uh, subdued voice. And not only because pro-Israeli organizations are acting to prevent them, but because there is no... Uh, there is no legitimization for delegitimization. There is no institutionalized legitimacy for such boycotts. I'm not saying there should be a boycott. Of course, I'm, I'm against boycotts. But we, we're just pointing to the fact that there is always fails. Maybe and surely that means that the case of Israel, I'm not talking about the Israeli Hasbara public diplomacy, but the Israeli case is very strong. And I believe that Israel should not inflate the discourse of BDS but to justify the black and white friends of foe narratives uh, and to the myth of a people that shall dwell alone, Am Levadad Ishkon, and all the world against us. By inflating, I mean, for example, uh, that the whole state, including the prime minister himself, other ministers, the minister of foreign affairs, the minister of interior, um, uh, reacted um, and uh, reacted to the so-called poem of, uh, how to say it uh, gently, uh, past his prime uh, 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 German uh, novelist. Uh, all the state uh, uh, was uh, was dealing with this uh, with this uh, uh, with this poem. This for this I called infl inflating the 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 discourse. Another good sign for Israel legitimacy is the reaction of the dominant states of, uh, during wars and operations in our region, both during Lebanon 2006 and in Gaza 2008-2009. The world had much patience for Israel military maneuvers, and leaders um, started pressing Israel uh, to end the operation only after few, a few weeks and hundreds of casualties on the other side. Again, I'm not saying if it's wrong or not, just pointing to the, to, the, uh, to the point that Israel has legitimacy to act as a sovereign uh, state, both during peaceful time and during violent conflicts. 
The second image on, on this uh, uh, opening uh, slide summarized my second uh, uh, point. What might really jeopardize Israel legitimacy? And what might, is, uh, might really jeopardize Israel legitimacy is if the world ceases to perceive Israel as a like-minded country, stops seeing Israel as a reasonable democratic state that although lives in, in a tough neighborhood, it most of the time tries to follow the basic logic of democratic country. This is what might really uh, 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 damage Israel legitimacy. Okay, that's it. Uh, that, this is uh, the, uh, my basic argument. No real danger to Israel legitimacy uh, uh, and institutionally there is no uh, legitimization for the legitimization. And because you are my captive audience for the next uh, few more minutes, uh, I'll, I'll wish to elaborate on this basic argument with few illustration uh, that will deconstruct the concept of legitimacy. The first slide is, uh, is taken from the BBC uh, internet site, uh, declaring that the OSCD members vote unanimously to invite Israel to join. This is... Uh, uh, less than two years ago, two years ago exactly in my May 2010, uh, you, you seek to, to you, you wish to, to, uh, to understand legitimacy. This is legitimacy. The uh, industrialized countries the, uh, the, of the world called to, to Israel to join the OECD, unanimously vote, and uh, you see, uh, I took this, I took this uh, picture, uh, this, this uh, screenshot, that uh, also includes uh, the demonstration outside the, uh, the OECD headquarters in Paris. Uh, it called for boycott Israel. Um, the, the call for boycotting Israel failed, and Israel is, uh, uh, joined the OECD. This is uh, legitimacy. Israel is a legitimate um, state. Um, I, I don't have to, to tell you that uh, Israel leaders are received all over the world. Uh, they receive official visits from uh, uh, world leaders. Not all these visits are, um, are uh, very uh, pleasant. I see here the... I don't see if you can see uh, uh, Avigdor Lieberman shaking the hands of Lady Ashton. It was not a, a, a very pleasant uh, um, meeting. But still, they, uh, 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 they met and they talk and uh, uh, they exchange views. And of course, Netanyahu and uh, uh, Barack uh, in China and uh, uh, Paris with Zapatero uh, the, the, um, from Spain. Uh, uh, this is, uh, again... Uh, Israel is a legitimate uh, state in the world, receiving and uh, visiting uh, uh, other uh, uh, leaders all around the world. Uh, this uh, this uh, um, it news item is from the is from uh, uh, less uh, uh, less than a month, uh, t less than two months. It's uh, it's uh, regard the um, the trade between Israel and the UK. He says uh, this. Uh, this uh, uh, Matthew Gold, the uh, uh, UK ambassador to, to Israel, says uh, that the trade between Israel and the UK is booming. Boycott? What boycott? Uh, this is from the Jewish Crown Call. UK Israel trade is booming, and I'll read you uh, uh, the last paragraph of the of the item. These figures, uh, um, UK Israel bilateral trade sorted 44 percent in the last year. The, these figures are big enough to, uh, and, uh, to be important to both countries, Gould said, uh, uh, told economic reporters at the Ramat Gan residence. They also implicitly gives a very good answer to anyone who talks about economic boycotts. And that answer is, what economic boycott? Another example is from uh, is, is from l last month, uh, oh, oh, so, ex excuse me, from February, uh, on the end of February. Uh, Limor Livnat went to uh, South Africa. We mentioned here South Africa as one of the uh, most uh, fiercest uh, crit uh, critics of, of Israel's uh, policy. Uh, and, and indeed, its uh, Minister for uh, Arts and Culture called for sanction against uh, Israel. But what he did when uh, Limor Livnat, his counterpart from Israel, came to, to see him, 
he signed a treaty with her uh, uh, that will uh, um, strengthen the ties between the countries in, in various areas of, uh, of culture and art. Uh, I, it's, uh, man, many leaders around the world pay lip service or double speak with the Palestinians. Uh, but uh, when it comes to actual actions in the real world, they sign uh, uh, treaties with Israel. And uh, even, even uh, the South African uh, government uh, do so. Uh, I've heard many, um, many explanations why the dominant countries of the world connected or committed to Israel. Uh, some say it is the alliance of democratic countries a political, uh, in the political arena, we are the same, we, uh, we share uh, the same uh, democratic values. Some talk about the um, uh, Judeo-Christian uh, tradition at the cultural roots, again, the, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, uh, uh, all the, the cultural tradition uh, that uh, uh, binds the two, um, the two cultures. Uh, others uh, talk about fear from uh, is Radical Islam, and, and I would say from Islam in general, uh, this is the military and the sociology uh, arena. Uh, other would mention the Holocaust, uh, mainly the history or the lesson of the Holocaust that the Jewish people need uh, a state and, and, and they have the right to defend themselves. Uh, others would uh, talk about admiration to, the Israel, uh, to Israel contribution to the humanity Technologic, uh, technology, uh, Nobel Prizes, art, novelists, poets, uh, you name it, uh, uh, they are all famous around the world, and F, all of the above. All of the above means like-minded. We actually uh, um, promote ourselves as like-minded country, and that's what connects us to, um, to, to the rest of the uh, dominant world, to the, uh, 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 to, to the rest of the world. We, uh, even in the letter handed yesterday to the activists who came to in the flight here, uh, you, I, I'm sure you all heard about it. Uh, the Prime Minister's office uh, issued a, a letter um, to, the, to all the activists who came, telling them that we appreciate uh, your uh, choosing Israel to make your, it your object of your humanitarian uh, concerns and maybe you should go to Iran, uh, Syria, uh, Gaza Strip, and other places. Um, uh, you chose to protest against Israel, the Middle East, Seoul, democracy. We, uh, we connect ourselves to other countries uh, through uh, democracy and shared values. And this is also, uh, I, I'll, I'll talk, uh, I mentioned uh, earlier the, uh, that uh, the discourse in, is inflated. And this is also in the inflating the discourse, because what if we just let them in? When there is no dr drama, when there is no conflict, there is no media, and so nothing would have happened. Uh, um, but uh, uh, we, we reacted, we, uh, we overreacted and exaggerated, although uh, uh, this, was, uh, this was their reaction. So maybe, uh, okay. Um, we, uh, we, we say we are like-minded, but when we, uh, when we uh, speak about like-minded, uh, uh, I want to, uh, to point to uh, some laws uh, that were passed in the Israeli Knesset in the, uh, during the last term. And those laws, although I agree with you, Gerald, uh, uh, those, some of those laws have, have their, their rationale. They, 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 they do... Um, and they, they, they do, uh, the, some of them are important, but the image of those laws is, 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 is very problematic. The Nakba law and, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, those laws, those laws around the world promo uh, uh, has the image uh, of non-democratic laws and uh, uh, and uh, and if we want to, if Israel want to be a like-minded country, uh, it cannot uh, pass such laws and to act uh, uh, in in a in a way that uh, uh, its democracy uh, uh, seems no longer valid. Um, 
I will end my, my discussion uh, 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 again. Uh, one of my areas of, of specialties is reality shows. A few, a few years ago, one of the most famous uh, reality shows in, in Israel was uh, Ashagiri, uh, the ambassador. Uh, it was based on the uh, international format, the uh, uh, American format of The Apprentice. In the, in the American format, the, con the contestant uh, had to, to co compete on a job with, the, with uh, Donald Trump empire. It was a job search reality show uh, in the business world. In Israel, we turned it, it into we, we are searching for the new ambassador. We are searching. It was not. A, uh, it was not a, a public diplomacy. It was not a, a, a the business, but public diplomacy. Because for many Israelis, it, and this is why it was a success for many Israelis, uh, are sure that Israel has a problem of image all over the world and have a, a problem of legitimacy. Legitimacy. I I say. At the, the conclusion of my, my speak is that action speaks louder than words. There is, there are anti-Semitism, ignorance, hypocrisy, uh, 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 singling out that Israel should deal with, and there is uh, there is a fierce, or there is criticism that if it comes from an ally, we should listen and see what we can get from it. But on the level of actions. There is no problem of legitimacy to Israel. Israel is a legitimate uh, state and uh, a very, um, very uh, uh, a state that can uh, act and uh, react in the world uh, like other countries. Thank you very much. Yeah.